So the very first question that would be coming to your mind would be, what will you learn from the course? One thing I can promise is you will experience lots of excitement and loads of learning. So we'll first talk about the uh, different migration methods. I'll, I'll actually go through a complete list of uh, different components that you should be aware of when you have to migrate your databases from on-prem to Oracle Cloud. And uh, to name uh, the most important ones, uh, they are endianness and database character set. So uh, we'll uh, just do a kind of a deep dive into endianness. What kind? Of, what is endianness? What is big endian system? What is a little endian system? Then we talk about the database character sets and how it governs your migration strategy. Uh, then I'll uh, talk about a very interesting concept of data transfer appliance. Let's say you are interested in uh, moving across uh, petabytes of data from on-prem or your on-prem uh, on data centers onto Oracle Cloud, but you are uh, connected on a, a, a network bandwidth which is like 100 Mbps or 1 Gbps. So for tra to transfer one petabyte uh, with a 1 Gbps, it will take you 100 days. So uh, not to worry, we have an Oracle data transfer appliance. Um, then we will move on and we learn a new concept because uh, see what we will do is we will um, uh, set up our on-prem environment and to set up our on-prem environment we'll be making use of virtual box so it won't be a normal virtual box wherein you just go to click 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 and create environment install operating system nothing like that we'll be entering the devops um, arena i would say wherein we'd be automating all of this stuff uh, stuff using vagrant so we'll learn about vagrant how you can uh, actually install and configure a vagrant how you can provision an oracle vm using vagrant and i'll show you how you can actually then install 18c on your uh, vm environment which has been built using vagrant and it is just like few commands and you'll see within few minutes your a virtual environment would be up and running. It's not like uh, you have to install operating system, create users, nothing like that. It's pretty straightforward and um, and it's, it's, uh, it's, it would be an intensive learning for you if you are working, you haven't worked on Vagrant. Uh, then we will move into the Oracle Cloud side. So our uh, setup of on-prem is done. Then we move on to the setup of our database in Oracle Cloud. I'll talk about what are compartments. How do you create a VCN, uh, which is the virtual cloud network? With very important uh, ter terminologies, you need to have good uh, in-depth uh, understanding of these concepts. I will show you how you provision your database in the OCI, which is the second gen of cloud. And once we have done that, uh, we, I'll show you the concept of the setting up of SSH connectivity, because you have to have a passwordless communication between your on-prem server to the Oracle cloud machine. And then we move on and why you have we would, would be enrolling to the course because I'll be going through the complete deep dive of database migration methods. And what we will do is we will first try and understand the method. Then I will show you the entire workflow, how things work, because certain things have to be done on the on-prem side and certain other things have to be done on the Oracle Cloud side. So I, I have divided this entire thing or entire set of steps into a workflow, which will show you the end to end steps that you have to take. And for every method at the end, there will be a complete demo which will show you how you will migrate your environment from uh, on-prem, which is the Oracle database running on-prem, and how you migrate to the Oracle database, which is in the cloud. And it's like almost 10 different exciting strategies, I would say. I know a lot of DBAs might have not have worked on this. These are like data pump conventional export import data pump transportable table space. Then we have data pump full transportable, another exciting feature which is similar to transportable table space, but again, it's different. Then we have an arm and convert transportable table space with data pump, wherein if you have to say, uh, bring your data files fr uh, from, or you have to perform some kind of endianness uh, conversion, that can be done using this. Then we have an exciting concept of a cross-platform transportable PDB. If you are on a container database and you're looking to unplug and also take a backup of your uh, pluggable database, how do you do it? And uh, then we talk about the Oracle Cloud Backup Module. Amazing, amazing concept wherein uh, if you want to take your backups directly onto the Oracle Cloud on the object store, how to do that? It is, it is uh, trust me, it is an interesting concept how you can do it because it works on the interface of SBT tape. It doesn't work as a disk-based interface, it is a tape-based interface. So it's really a mind-boggling exercise wherein you have to set up your Oracle Cloud Backup Module. 
Uh, then we talk about the plugging, unplugging and plugging. So you can unplug your pluggable database from one container database and put it in our plugin uh, PDB. But here is the catch. When you plug it in, you face a lot of uh, issues like you have violation problems. And I will tell you how you can resolve these violation problems. Then we talk about cross-platform transportable PDB, inconsistent backups, which helps you to reduce the downtime. We'll be taking a, a backup uh, of the pluggable database in read-write mode, and then we will unplug and take another incremental backup, and I'll show you how you can actually reduce your downtime. Uh, last one uh, method, which is uh, last but not the least, and it's getting quite popular. I'll show you how you can make use of SQL Developer. Yes, guys, SQL Developer can be used to migrate your selected objects from one uh, environment to other. As with my every course, uh, I always try uh, to challenge uh, myself. Uh, we would be talking about AWS. So uh, we'll try and migrate a database which is running in AWS Cloud as an RDS instance. So we'll migrate from AWS RDS onto Oracle Cloud OCI. So first I'll show you how you provision an AWS RDS database. Interesting concept. We discuss AWS DMS, which is a database migration service. DMS, database migration service. I'll show you the entire concept of how you can create replication instance, which is just like an EC2 instance. I'll go through the complete demo, a deep dive, how you can perform your database migration exercise in sitting in AWS and still you are able to migrate onto Oracle Cloud, which was like amazing concept for me. You are sitting in AWS, you are using a, a service of AWS and still you are migrating your Oracle database onto Oracle Cloud. I'll show you how you create endpoints because you need a source endpoint, destination endpoint. So that would be done. And then uh, at the end, we'll perform a data migration task and uh, execute the task, which shows you how you can actually migrate your data across from your source database to the target database. So guys, does that all sound interesting to you? Hopefully it does. So I shall look forward to see you in the course. Happy learning.